fifth video here in the series at Computer Says No. Uh, yeah, and this one, we're gonna take a look at um, finding a jump ESP instruction. Now, in the last video, I got a bit of my head ahead of myself, started talking about popping shells and popping calc and all this stuff. But um, at the moment, we don't have anything of value um, written into EIP other than bees. If you have a look at, uh, oh no, I've reset, I've reset uh, immunity, so I haven't got the old um, registers there. Anyway, um, yeah, we only we only wrote bees to EIP. So what we need to do is uh, find out the address of a reliable um, jump ESP instruction because I'm not sure that I mentioned it, but um, I should have because you need to know. Um, the value of ESP, if you were to go back, if you don't believe me, and watch each of the videos where we crashed the program, the value in ESP is different um, every time we crash the program. So we want to get our code, uh, we want ESP um, to execute our code, right? It's pointing to where the C's were, and that's going to be where our shell code is going to lay. We're going to replace that C with our shell code, but we need to get um, EIP to get ESP to go to that, uh, to get ESP to execute our code, right? But we don't know the value, the address that ESP points to. It changes every time. So what is reliable is finding um, a jump ESP instruction. Um, yeah, it's probably simple enough for um, our... Uh, purposes right there are other ways it's not always the only way that it's done um, there are other instructions that can be used like uh, push um, ESP and, re and return like jump AX jump ESI these sorts of things but we'll just go with jump um, ESP so we do that with Mona if we go Mona modules um, what's happened here yeah, if we click, if we go motor modules, get out of it. Um, <clears throat> and you have a look down here at this table. We want to look for a module um, <clears throat> that doesn't have these sort of exploit mitigations and memory protections in place. So we're looking for the keywords false. Um, that's what we want, you know, especially um, false to rebase and false to ASLR is exactly what we want. Often it's a DLL. Um, of another program or some system file or whatnot, um, some other module, but in this case, it is actually the binary um, itself of do stack buffer overflow good. So um, yeah, that's just do stack buffer overflow good dot exe. So now we know that we can get Mona to take a look for a jump instruction. So we'll go Mona jump um, and we want to look for uh, we jump into an ESP instruction, right? And in the module, uh, do stack buffer overflow good, and hit enter. Getting module info. Where did that window go? What do we got here? really have to look at getting this print enlarged, don't I? Um, down here where it says results, this is what we want. Um, right here is two memory addresses of jump ESP instructions. You see the memory addresses here in the first column on the left where the arrow is and then jump ESP. So there's two of those. Um, ASLR is off and rebase is off, safe. SCH is true, but that should be all good. So we're going to right click um, and copy to the clipboard the address. Uh, da, 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 da. And paste that in here. Just bear with me a second. Okay, we're back. I just had to copy pasta a few lines um, into my script here. So what I've added is this uh, jump ESP variable and we've imported the struct uh, module from Python. Now um, this will format uh, 
our, um, our value here, our memory address, into the little Endian um, format that we need. So that's handy. We don't have to swap it all around and do the, you know, uh, backslash x zero a backslash c four thing. Um, so that's cool. Um, do use that. Um, so we've got that. Let's put our nop sled in here as well. Um, so the no operation um, instruction is backslash x nine x ninety and we'll say we'll throw thirty of those in. Um, it is good to have a bit of a nop sled, uh, especially with the metasploit payloads um, and uh, yeah, when jump uh, using this jump ESP stuff when. Um, ERP and ESP are so close together. It's good to have these knob sleds uh, for, yeah, to avoid data corruption and stuff. So always just throw it in. I mean, um, yeah, keep it whatever, sub 50, 50, it shouldn't hurt. Um, that buffer looked pretty big that we have to play with. So we've got our knob sled um, and I'm gonna copy this calc um, code here. I generated this uh, shell code to pop the calculator previously. Um, in a Kali machine. Uh, it's looking a bit weird here. Um, let's get rid of this. Um, calc shellcode. It's looking good. So we've got jump ESP and our NOP sled. Um, alrighty, so here we go, jump ESP, our NOP sled, and our calc shellcode, and we append the new line on there. Um, I think we're gonna be good to go to pop um, a calculator, guys. I'm gonna close that. We are running. Yeah, heck, let's, uh, let's give it a red hot go. What do you think? Wish me luck. No. No, 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 no. Didn't like it. Why didn't it like it? Double O? What's the go with that? What is the go with that? No. And no, it can't be, it can't be possible. Sorry guys, it's a bit embarrassing. Copy that address. That's why. It's missing the OX. There you go. How silly. And I bet all of you guys had it figured out before I did. Anyway, that's how this stuff works. Um, as I was saying, let's pop a calculator. Uh, terminated. Oh yeah. And we popped a calc, how good is that? That is very good. Well, um, it's all going to plan guys. In the next video, I'm gonna jump over to Cali and uh, get some shell code happening. I'll show you how I'm gonna generate that reverse shell code. And, um, and then I think we'll fire the exploit off from Kali because um, it all looks good to go. And uh, hopefully we'll get a reverse shell and we would have come here and achieved what we set out to do, hopefully. Anyway, that was fun. It'll be fun in the next one. I'll see you there.